Do you want to know about the seven princes of hell, what they might look like, and what they do? In this video, I'm going to break it all down for you. The seven princes are the most powerful demons in the infernal hierarchy of hell. They are Mammon, Astaroth, Leviathan, Belphegor, Asmodeus, Beelzebub, and Lucifer. Once angels, they were cast out after being defeated in the war of heaven. Imprisoned in the realms of hell, they were transformed into monstrous entities and took dominion over the fiery depths, torturing the souls of the damned. Astaroth, the prince of lust, is the seventh prince of hell, and a demon of lies and deception. He is referenced in the Bible as being one of the seven princes who take turns ruling hell. Astaroth is often depicted as a snake-like, hermaphrodite creature with the head of a man and a body that looks like it has been cut in half. He often appears in medieval artwork, as the star of the constellation Draco. Astaroth is known as a demon who uses his wiles to trick both angels and human beings. He is often depicted torturing human beings with his lies, including tempting people into despair, or offering eternal life to those who agree to follow him. In Jewish folklore, Astaroth is said to be one of the first demons ever created by God, and that he was banished from heaven for having an affair with another of God's angels. Mammon, the prince of greed and envy, is the sixth of the seven princes of hell. He is often depicted as a creature with the head of a lion and the body of a man. Mammon was said to be responsible for tempting humans into committing sins of greed, such as hoarding wealth and being stingy. He was also said to be responsible for causing financial ruin. Mammon is a demon who lures people into greed for material wealth by promising them riches for their own selfish desires without any concern for others or how it affects anyone else's life. He is the personification of greed. The term Mammon means wealth in Hebrew. The word describes a particular kind of God, who is worshipped for material wealth rather than spiritual happiness. The fifth of the infernal princes, Leviathan, the prince of gluttony, is the prince of hell governing the seas. He is said to be a great king over all creatures living in the waters. His name means, that which lays waste, and he was first mentioned in the Talmud, which was compiled between 200 BC and 500 AD. In the Christian tradition, Leviathan is usually depicted as a sea monster, with huge rows of serrated teeth and long tentacles that flow like seaweed. He has many heads, representing his control over all aquatic life. Sometimes he is also depicted with a pair of wings to symbolize his ability to fly on the water. Leviathan's name comes from the Canaanite god Lewathan, literally sea monster, but in the Bible, Leviathan is the first of Job's three comforters, who comfort him in his sufferings. Leviathan stands at the entrance of hell, and whose immense, ever-hungry mouth does lead into the dark abyss itself. Belphegor, the prince of sloth, is the fourth of the seven princes of hell. He is often depicted as a foul-smelling demon with a black goat's head, and cloven hooves for feet. His symbol is an upside-down dove. Belphegor is a demon who tempts people with laziness and slothfulness by making them too comfortable to do anything productive. He was said to tempt humans by offering them wealth, fame, or knowledge. Belphegor is known to enjoy watching people from a distance and finding their weaknesses and flaws. He often disguises himself as an old man, a beggar, or a doctor for this purpose. Asmodeus, the prince of wrath and war, is the third of the seven princes of hell. He is often depicted as a demon with red skin, three heads, a bull, a man, and a ram, and bat-like wings. Asmodeus was said to be responsible for inciting humans to commit sins of wrath, such as murder and revenge. He is a demon who lures people into sin and who tempts them to do things that are evil, chaotic, and barbarous. Asmodeus is a fallen angel who is considered the king of demons and is one of the most powerful of them. He will take on any shape he wishes, including that of a human. Beelzebub, the prince of decay and pestilence, is the second of the seven princes of hell. He is often depicted as a creature with the head of a fly and the body of a man. Beelzebub was said to be responsible for tempting humans into committing sins of apathy. He was also said to be responsible for spreading disease. Beelzebub is a fallen angel who is said to be the ruler over the earth, and is often portrayed as one of the four archdemons in the Christian tradition. Beelzebub is a name that comes from the Hebrew word Beelzebub, Baal meaning God, and Zebub meaning Lord of Flies. In turn, this translates to literally the God of Flies. He is referred to as the Lord of Flies in the Old Testament. Lucifer, the Prince of Lies, is the first of the seven princes of hell and the most powerful. He rules over the other demons, and all of the realms of hell. Lucifer is often depicted as a creature with black wings, great horns, red skin, and eyes of fire. Lucifer is also known as the devil, or Satan. 
He is an angel who rebelled against God and was exiled out of heaven and into hell. He is also known as the morning star, or light bearer, because he brings light to those in darkness, and his symbol is a five-pointed star with one point down. Lucifer's name means the accuser, or combatant, and he is the central antagonist in the Abrahamic religions and Judeo-Christian demonology. In contrast to more benevolent figures such as God or Jesus Christ, Satan has been called, the father of lies. Lucifer was said to be responsible for tempting humans into committing sins against each other. He was also said to be responsible for causing disharmony among people, and is known as the great enemy, 